Hi, Aries, and welcome to your monthly read for February 2024. Uh, this is going to be the collective energies for uh, Aries, okay? What is coming out for Aries here, guys? I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be what is most important that you need to be aware of, whether it's love, work, or life. What's going to be really, really key for you to keep in mind this month? Uh, whatever is most important is going to be the key, okay? You can check out my weekly reads to stay on, on, on top of that as well. You'll see that at the end of this read. And my bi-weekly reads is all about love. So if you're, you're you know, interested in that, you can see that at the end of this video. What's at the bottom of the deck? The star card card. This is a birthing of something new, guys. It's all about positivity. This is an opportunity for you to uh, go have gone through some sort of spiritual healing with new inspiration. So focusing in on your creativity, your, your contentment, your renewal, and reaching some sort of serenity and some sort of healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have got that in your chart, okay? Um, there is some sort of beautiful transformational change, and you could be in the spotlight for some of you, okay? So you could be amongst the stars, all right, and this is you, and being very enlightened around that. Um, it also is, you know, kind of stepping out, uh, you know, maybe that you are in the public eye. I do get there could be, I get the Daughter of Swords that's coming through here. The Daughter of Swords talks about the Page of Swords. Maybe there's some sort of direct message that comes through. Um, uh, and this is about an opportunity to be very curious and energetic and communicative. Okay. Be very vigilant, witty. This is also being inspired um, and, and an alert. So maybe you're getting a message about the stars, a message about, uh, you know, moving in front of the public eye or being in front of the public eye or amongst the stars, or this is a message for you to step out and have some sort of new inspiration and rebirth. I get inspired warrior is what I get inspired warrior coming through. I tried to do your reads a couple times and I kept getting different energies coming through. And I just felt that uh, and, and, and what I got in your underlying energy in the first attempt was four major arcanas uh, as well. And this is a major arcana coming through too. But it was all about listening to your, uh, your subconscious patterns and balancing things out on the light and the dark side, having faith and pushing forward and stepping out. And it's an opportunity for a, a birthing of something new. So let's keep that in mind. And then let's take a look at your uh, overarching energy that is going to be most important for Aries to keep in mind regarding every single card that we, we uh, you know, turn over here. Okay. What do we need to know? Oh my gosh, we got you. I knew you were stepping into the spotlight. Okay. I knew you were stepping into the spotlight in some sort of way. You know, what's so interesting about this? is I get Aries, okay? And, I, and I'm getting, remember when I talked about the warrior, so to speak? You know, this is, the, the, you, this is about the one, uh, what is the, the saying? The one waits for time to change, the other seizes it vigorously and then acts. And that's you. You're, you're, you're taking control of something and you're acting, okay? Others would just kind of, you know, wait for something to change. No, 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 no. You're, you're going to step out and have some sort of, you know, some sort of renewal after some sort of message that comes through, okay? And, you know, this is uh, like even in the springtime, at the time of Aries, like that nature awakens to new life. Everything seems to bloom. Well, th this is what I feel is what's happening. It's, it, it's like moving forward, okay? Uh, it's, it's like the ram is, it, it's, it, it's kind of like the, everything, be, the mating season begins. All right. <laughs> so the birthing of something new. Okay. And it's just like the ram that takes that on, you know, just like everything else, it stands for a new beginning, such as a new startup. Okay. For some of you, it could be a new energy, a new startup. It's also, it stands for inner struggle mode and the drive to be victorious and successful over anything that might be holding you back. Okay. So passionate, courageous, that's you, very pioneering and being victorious in this process, okay? So you know that as you move forward, be proud, focus on self-confidence, and the huge horns are kind of like directed, right? Directed right at you, okay? So it's just reminded you that reinforces your strength and your fighting spirit, Aries, okay? And uh, it is also uh, focusing in on uh, the drive, victory, 
you know, don't be impulse, don't be too impulsive. Let's just say be a little bit more kind of take calculated risks and move forward. But you're a fighter and you drive for what it is that you want. You're on, you're in your shadow side when you're when you're too impulsive or focusing too much on competitiveness or overly success on ambition. You got to step back a little bit and and focus in on uh, you know uh, being assertive. Okay, and self assured and dynamic, but not overdoing it. What's going to be most important for Aries to remember uh, about themselves here that is going to be very, very key? What does Aries need to know? What do we get? What do we get on your overarching energy? Your, it has to do with your communication and your throat chakra. So make sure that you're watching, you know, kind of all of that there. That's going to be very, very key. Okay, it has to do with your throat chakra, and there's a little bit of the heart chakra in here too. So something important to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at what it is that you need to step back from this month. Ooh, you need to step back from something that you've completed already with the world card. Okay. Now with a world card, this could be don't focus in on any sort of lack of success. Step away from that. Don't focus on lack of achievement. Step away from that. Don't focus on feeling incomplete or feeling empty. You're full of vigor and you've got the, you've got the power of the ram. I mean, come on. All right. So let's take a look at some more cards that come through for you, Aries. Let's take a look. What is it that we need to, well, this came out this way, so I'm going to take it that way. And then what else do we get? Okay. The hermit card. Wow. Look at this. Um, wow. Uh, is this all major arcana? All major arcana. I told you, you've got this in your previous read, not the same cards. But the message still comes out, you know, especially in this fresh read. So I, the, apparently I needed to do this again for some uh, for for Aries here. But I'm getting is that don't focus on the lag. Don't focus on what has held you back. This is about, you know, judgment. A judgment in reverse is being indecisive, self-loathing, maybe not doing something, uh, maybe about... Um, you know, the unwillingness to learn a lesson and placing unfair blame on others. Now, I'm not calling you out here. I'm just I'm focusing on the cards. So don't uh, don't uh, mess with the reader. here. <laughs> you know, you have your own interpretation. That's always going to be most important for you. But I'm telling you what I'm what I'm getting from this is um, not focusing on the lack of achievement and going within and seeing the light uh, with this hermit energy, you know, straight up. This is talking to me about, you know, uh, Virgo energy. And it's about spiritual enlightenment. There's been enlightenment that you got out of this. You got that this stuff, this way of thinking just turns everything upside down, right? Instead of, you know, the phoenix rising, right? This is you know, focusing in on, you know, the the lack thereof, the lack of, of you know, not doing something or just, you know, uh, I'm not at fault, the other person is, right? There's no growth when we say that. But if we if we focus in on what was my part to play, what can I learn from this, then there is growth there. All right. So you can focus on a growth mindset or not. And this is saying you've let this go when you've been enlightened on the lack of a growth mindset of the past. This is the past. And I don't know if it was really deep within you that maybe that was something that was uh, that was as you were brought up. But I'm telling you, you're changing. You're changing the way you communicate with yourself and you've been enlightened and it's come to fruition. It's a nine card. You've gone within, you've done a, a lot of work within. Okay. And so I am proud of you guys. My gosh, you guys, you just need to give yourself a big hug and be proud of yourself. And you focus on that star energy to step out here and uh, to really uh, move forward. All right. What else do we get? Yeah, I create my reality. I'm going to live my best life by design, okay? And I have amazing experiences and and I have infinite potential within me. I am rewriting the way that I was previously taught to communicate and I'm stepping out from my healing from this, okay? And I'm being very smart in the way that I think and talk to myself. And so this uh this lack on, you know, what you need to step back from is about now you've been enlightened. You don't need this anymore. This is the past. Okay. So I create my own realities coming through. Uh, give me anything more uh, for Aries that comes through on what you need to step back from this month. Uh, I do get uh, energy. <laughs> I get new growth. Oh my gosh. You need to step back and start teaching. <laughs> you've learned something. You've had new growth from a situation and it's about stepping, it's about stepping, it's, it's about teaching now. Maybe that you've gone through something 
and you've energetically, uh, you know, you're, you're letting that old energy go to have new growth come in. You're letting old energy go so you can create your new growth of your new reality, right? So you're letting this past energy go, and then you're going to be able to teach this. Ooh, this is powerful. Guys, note your comments. Let me know how this resonates with you, okay? Uh, anything that uh, Aries, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this. I'm going to go for the next card because I want to uh, look at something here. Let's take a look at what you need to step forward towards this month, and then I'll use that uh, that other area, uh, that other deck over here. What you need to step forward, well, this is in reverse. I'll take, forward, take a look at here, okay? So let's take a look at the, uh, we get the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I guess it was upright. How interesting. I almost thought it was in reverse. It should be this way, but it's not. You need to go for your independence and your be in gratitude. They want you to be in gratitude. Give me more. Give me more. Okay. Two cards that came out. All right. So what do we get? So you need to be in gratitude and, uh, and, and for all that it is that you have. And that's what I'm getting. Now you do get the, the Ace of Pentacles. There's a message that's coming through. Maybe there was, um, you need to move towards your independence and don't, uh, and move towards, uh, and, and, and step away from lack of planning, step away from not using your inner power, strength card. So let me repeat that again so you get this. Moving towards your Nine of Pentacles which is focusing in on, you know, rewarded for your efforts, success, luxury, achievement, security, and gratitude. And I feel that you, uh, uh, and, and you need to, it's like you need to move towards this. And I'm feeling that what you need to release and let go, because both of these are upside down, is, is don't give up your inner strength. Don't give up your manifestations. Go for, keep, you've achieved something here. It's like material success. You've already achieved your being in gratitude for what you've manifested and having the inner strength. So don't not use your strength. Don't not focus on your manifestation. Move towards your nine of pentacles. Why is this important uh, for Aries? Okay, what do we get? Because what do we get? Clarity, gratitude coming up. Oh, it's an adventure. You got clarity came, that came through. So clarity. You need to step towards clarity, be in gratitude, and take on this adventure, this life adventure. Oh, <laughs> this is so key. All right. Uh, anything more what Aries needs to step towards? Okay. See if you can see it. Anything more that Aries needs to step towards? Let's take a look what we've got. What Aries needs to step for towards? Allow. You need to allow something to come. This is like enjoy yourself, have faith, relax. You know what? I'm going to read this a different way for some of you out there. Because for some of you, you've been pushing so hard towards what you want and um, towards your manifestations. And for once, you know what this wants some of you to do? I got it for some of you is that you need to allow something to come in. You need to know and have faith. What needed to shift is the faith of things and allow situations to unfold. All right, go for what you want, and then know that it is yours, but don't push so hard. Yes, the ram is strong, but there, there, there's a, there, there, there is going to be a delicate balance in this, guys. So there's a sense for some of you that have been pushing and pushing and pushing. You know what areas you are to step back and allow, okay? Whoa. This is going to be very, very key. Why is this important? Why do you need, what do you need to move towards? Why is this important? Oh, because it allows you to, to care. I get cancer energy that's coming towards this. So I feel that this is, a, this is saying that it, it's like care enough for yourself and to know that this is coming in some sort of way. Uh, I do get cancer energy. So it is about nurturing your soul. And that's what makes you happy. So being compassionate, nurturing, intuitive, creative, security, warm heartedness, because it doesn't want you to lose the caring of yourself. This is why it's important. Sometimes if you push too hard, you take on that masculine energy so much that you forget to tap into that, 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 that sunny side of things, right? That motherly, emotional, caring, and nurturing type. 
okay, that was a message there. This was kind of interesting at this moment here. What is it that you need to know about additionally moving forward that can really, really help you? Okay. Ah, sorry guys about that. Sorry guys about that. Yeah, there was uh, some sort of siren out. Maybe help is coming on the way because I get the two of cups. This is connection. So, you know, what you need to know about the additionally moving forward, that there's love for you. There is some sort of connection. Uh, this is, when this card appears, you can anticipate new love that's going to be heading your way. And yes, it usually means romance, but sometimes it points to like a, a birth of a lasting friendship. But either way, the connection between you and this other person is going to be honest, pure, and solid. So open your heart and get ready. That's why the caring came through, guys. You see how this is making sense? <laughs> oh my gosh, you have to teach, but then you also have to allow Right. And, 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 and that's what's, that's, what's coming through. It's like you, you, and, and um, you can, and it's also about, you know, being, you know, the air is very, very strong to teach, but also be that caring because love wants to come through for you. Okay. Give me anything more. Give me anything more of what you need to know about additionally moving forward. What do we got? Uh, I do get, uh, is this in reverse? Yeah. It's the nine of swords in reverse. So the nine of swords in reverse talks about finding help. Oh, <gasps> That's exactly why the ambulance came through here, guys. <gasps> Finding help. This it could also indicate for some of you mental health, uh, you know, mental health issues, learning to cope, going through recovery. There's no shame in that, guys, right? Getting rid of any sort of shame or guilt surrounding that. Oh my gosh. Um, swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Note your comments, guys, if this uh, resonates with you. And then what else do I get? What is this? And then I get the four of, of uh, wands to balance something out, to reach home harmony, to reach happiness in some sort of way, to reach some sort of stability. There could be a reunion between you and another person. There's a celebration and excitement and some sort of reunion of coming home to oneself. So you need to keep that in mind because it's going to help balance everything out. Uh, anything more that uh, so you can, you know, birth, you know, something new because right at the bottom of the deck is the Empress energy, you know, Libra energy. But let's take a look. What do we get? Yeah, because passion wants to come out You're, and, and to make a change. Uh, it, you need to kind of sometimes surrender and allow, right? Allow things to unfold and let the universe bring you in a person, place or thing uh, or people that can help you or that uh, people that are in your path to love. All right. Passion. You're going through a golden transition and it's all about the heart surrendering in some sort of way. Okay. And knowing that things are going to bloom no matter what. Oh, this is so neat. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look and see what uh, comes through for you. Anything else um, additionally that you need to know about moving forward? Yeah. The magic of pretending. Visualize the situation, be detailed, see it manifested, speak it into existence and be certain. But then what do you do after that? Surrender, right? What do you do after that? You allow, all right? Having that faith. Don't try to, uh, you know, force something to take place. Okay. Know that your manifestation is already coming through. Now, what is it that is going to be, how will this be in your best interest? Because uh, getting the rest is going to, you know, allowing is going to help you get the rest that you need to tap into that feminine side and allow you to listen to your third eye energy. Okay. It's, it's going to help in reasoning of the mind as well. Okay. So that's going to be very, very key. All right. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What else? How is this going to help you? It's going to help you communicate better with others. Okay. Which is another thing because do you ever notice like if you get too rushed or you overcommit yourself or become overwhelmed and in stress, you don't answer, you know, uh, your, your, your cadence in your voice, the, the tone of your voice, all of that has something to do with that. All right. And so it's kind of like when you get your rest, you can see, you can think clearly you can speak clearly, which is the three card, right? And then the three of cups talks about that you can focus in on teamwork and shared goals better. You have better collaboration. You have better effort in terms of what it is that you're learning and, and you know, in terms of, of what's happening. And then I get the nine of cups and you know what that is, guys. Then a wish is coming true. Why is this in your best interest? Because a wish is coming true. An opportunity of a wish is coming true.
So it's saying to kind of, it's almost like balancing out your feminine, your masculine side. If you've been focused too much on that masculine energy, do, 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 do. Sometimes you need to, to kind of think about how you can balance out just a little bit more on your feminine side and focus in on that, that the empress energy and let be, allow and surrender and trust and just know your value of what you want is going to be there for you because this is a wish coming true and you don't even see it here right it's like it's like you go towards the light and know that it's there right and collaborating with others and then i do get uh, some sort of wish comes true <laughs> oh my gosh i'm gonna bring this uh, there's a special thing it's 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 interesting um well i won't get into this now but uh you know with my with my um air my mercury is in aries and uh, so I've been focusing in on that and this couldn't be more, more, more true. It's, it's what I'm getting, but you guys let me know for you that's coming through. Um, and I'll share with you how down the line, just a little bit, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's something pretty amazing, but I feel that for you that you get a wish come true. Oh, okay. Anything else? Why, uh, why this is in your best interest? Because look it, because it's manifested. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, something's manifested. All right. I, I, it's happened in my life and I'll be sharing with you shortly, but for you, I want you to know that a new desired reality is already present in your life. Get into vibrational alignment with that because astrology does give you the edge. Okay. So you, the tarot gives you the edge in this. So keep this in mind because it's manifested. So what else do you, you uh, what you should you be building on in the month ahead? You know, as we move forward in the month of February, 2024, Hierophant energy, your truth lightning strikes you're getting the key to your truth all right so the hierophant is talking about knowledge sharing right and that's exactly what you're doing with others it's kind of like you're sharing your emotions right and then some sort of wish comes true and it's manifested all right so you're sharing your knowledge all right and this is is what it is that you should be building on within this month you've got the keys to this this is focusing in on on um, institutions traditional institutions some of you could be going to school uh this is about conformity all right it's also about marriage how conformity might work for you and how can sometimes it can work against you but also focusing in on doing what is best for you your marriage beliefs and also talks about commitment okay so you know you, you're getting the keys to some of you are teachers of this or some of you are getting some sort of advice in this okay uh, anything more uh, about what it is that uh, that you should be building on for the month ahead how to manifest state the thought believe take inspired action and know it's done have fun align and then what did we talk about guys allow it right and get ready to receive and that's what this card talks about uh, align and receive have fun know that it is done and have fun and receive okay and let's take a look at what energy you should brace as a shield of protection or as your armor and the days that you don't feel that you're strongest and i do get the seven of wands continue to persevere and shine your light okay with this uh, uh seven of wands sevens are in house of partnerships but it's again it's acknowledging that light that we saw at the very beginning did we not see this look at see and in terms of the very beginning, uh, what, and, and this is about your light, like acknowledging your light. It's here and now it's shining bright, okay? So this is about persistence. Um, it is about you know consistently moving forward. It is about defending yourself, having healthier boundaries. This is you know against competition of anything of any sorts, all right? So anything more that wants you to know, persevere, have healthy boundaries in your situation, okay? What else? Three of wands, develop a strategy, develop a strategy, you know, have your foresight, have confidence, focus on your growth, look ahead, focus in on your leadership and the momentum that you've made. Okay. And then what else? And that empress energy. Remember I told you about that empress energy. Uh, it's like this under you're birthing something new. All right. And uh, it's like knowing your worth and knowing your value. This is, you know, motherhood for some of you. This is your feminine nature. It's very important for you right now. Harmony, fertility, your sensuality, beauty and art that you are being favored right now. Uh, and then anything else that would be important for you to keep up. Trust the process. This whole read is about this on what it is that you want. 
Everything always works out, Aries. I mean, really, something better is on the horizon, and you just have to have total confidence in the universe. If something that didn't work out for you that you really wanted, it's because something better is here for you, and you have to trust the path that and, and heed those signs along the way, okay? So anything else that Aries needs to be aware of as we move forward uh, within this month? What is the kind of that wants to come out? Oh, I am mentally and physically healthy is what I'm getting. I am mentally and physically healthy. And then what else do you need to be reminded of? What else do we get? What is this? You have a way of standing out in a crowd. And don't you? Remember, we got the star. It's time to step out, do your thing, communicate, and, 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 and then know what's yours. Allow, know that it's a manifested and know how to manifest and push that forward and then trust the process. Oh, you guys, this is a beautiful read. Okay. Um, note your comments, like, and subscribe. If you want a personal read, click the link in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.